Yes, after her daughter was written up for hugging a classmate. She told Caitlin Ross the other girl was crying. She just stepped in to try to comfort her. Caitlin, that was her instinct. Somebody's hurting and she goes in to give her a hug. It happened in a middle school and then take it from there. Right. This is a really strange story. So her daughter's never been in trouble at school ever. She comes home. She says, Mom, look, I got written up. Here it is. Level, Level one, one offenses. offenses. <laughs> exactly. And if you want to zoom in here, it says hugging a student. That's what she got in trouble for. So we wanted to do a little investigation yeah. to see what's the policy here? Why is she in trouble? So Villarica says, it's a public display of affection. Well, hugging is an outright band that could be interpreted as unwanted contact. So that's where she gets in trouble. Penalty may range from warning to short-term suspension. Yikes, this was a warning. So it was a written warning that got sent home. Mom says she went to the school and the school said, we're not really gonna do anything to enforce this. She's not gonna be in a lot of trouble, but there's a lot of reaction to yeah. this. This is one woman who says she got the same letter home. Her daughter also got in trouble for hugging. Here's somebody from the other side. Hands to yourself. Respect others' personal space. Rules are rules. So there are some people who are agreeing with the school here saying maybe this should be a policy. Maybe there should be no hugging. Huh. But here's the other side of it. Kids want to hug each other. If you have a bad day, you need a hug. And so that's some of the pushback that we're seeing. It's interesting because a lot of the conversation I'm seeing is about common sense. Right. You know, understanding a public display of affection would be something you want to implement in a middle school, but this is not that. It wasn't kids in a relationship. It was somebody instinctively coming in to try to console someone. Right. And they want some interpretation in there, common sense. Right, trying to comfort their friend. And a lot of the people that I've heard back from say, we want to teach our kids compassion and to love each other. All right, you can join the conversation. It's a good one going on right now on our Facebook page and 11alive.com. Thanks.